Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my 31 and 32 week pregnancy update. The reason that I'm doing it this way is because I'm already 32 weeks and 6 days pregnant. So I just figured I would combine the two and make it easier. So I'm going to be talking about my 31 week pregnancy update and 32 weeks. So yeah, there's been a lot that has happened within those two weeks. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. I do go see a high-risk ultrasound doctor because the baby's stomach is measuring small so they have just been monitoring it and everything like that and the other day I got a call um, from my regular OB not the high-risk doctor but my regular OB you know calling and asking hey um, we need you to start coming in every week two times a week for an ultrasound and a stress test it worried me I was like why if I'm already seeing the high-risk doctor why do I need to see you guys two times a week it just doesn't make any sense like is something going on and they just said the reasoning that they want me to come in more often for more ultrasounds is obviously just to monitor everything and just to check to see how the baby is growing particularly the baby's stomach so yeah and from my understanding they told me if the baby's stomach is not does not continue to grow adequately then they will need to induce me and by inducing me, I mean I would have to have a C-section, obviously, because those of you that know, I do have to have a scheduled C-section, so they would just basically have to give me a C-section and my baby would be born a lot earlier than expected. But hopefully that is not the case and we are continuing, you know, monitoring the baby and stuff and my next appointment is actually in a few days. So I'm going very frequently and I will definitely keep you guys posted on what's going on with that. But yeah, aside from that, I am 140 pounds and I'm craving so much cheese and Pop-Tarts. And the number one thing that's really been happening the past few weeks is the hormones y'all the hormones are crazy right now i cry over the littlest things poor garrick probably walks on eggshells just talking to me for instance i was making the bed and i couldn't get the sheet on like all the way on the bed like the fitted sheet so i literally just started bawling crying i just sat down i was like screw it like and just started crying my eyes out probably just sat there for 20 minutes and cried because i could not put the freaking bed sheet on the bed and another reason is just because I will like get to cleaning and I've mentioned this in my previous updates but I'll get to cleaning or doing something that I want to get done and I won't be able to finish it because I get so winded and then I'll just start crying because I'm like I can't do anything and it's just it's it's something else it's hard I went into the pantry this was Three days ago, I think, I went into the pantry and there was no more strawberry Pop-Tarts, so I had a meltdown. I'm not kidding you, there's not been a day where I haven't just cried over something. And it's a little ridiculous, it's getting out of hand, and I mean, I can't help it, I'm hormonal, I'm pregnant, but that's definitely been something that's happened within these past two weeks. It's just... It's hitting me hard. But yeah, that has been my cravings recently. Cheese, Pop-Tarts, the strawberry ones in particular, and hot fries. And speaking of cheese, I am, or I have been past few weeks, slowly been weaning myself off of dairy products. And it's been a little challenging and a little difficult for me. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I do plan on breastfeeding. Hi, Gilly. I do plan on breastfeeding this time around as long as I can and it didn't last very long with Wilder and we just had a really really hard time breastfeeding it was a lot he was super colicky and he has a milk protein allergy so I think the dairy that I was consuming was really upsetting his stomach and when I stopped breastfeeding we had so much trouble with formula there was so many different formulas we had to go through it was just a mess and I'm trying to just avoid that all. I'm just going to go dairy free until the new baby is born. We establish breastfeeding well and then I'll start introducing dairy. And if he or she has a reaction to it, then I will quit completely. But yeah, that's the reason. I just don't want to take that risk 
because a lot of babies are really sensitive to dairy so I'm just going to completely cut it out for now and like I said once the new baby has established breastfeeding well then we will slowly introduce dairy and if at that time he or she can take it then I will continue consuming dairy because I really like cheese and I really like milk and I like all things dairy so it's been really challenging for me the reason that I'm starting so early is like I said, because it's been difficult for me, but I definitely plan to absolutely cut it off a month before delivery. So probably around like December the 10th, just to be safe, I'll just completely cut it off. So I don't have very long until I need to give it up completely, but I've been working on it. My belly is so tight, y'all. Like, oh my Lord, I can't sit normal. I can't do anything like and result my back hurts so bad because just the way that I have to sit whenever I am sitting or whenever I'm even laying down I'm super uncomfortable I probably say that in every freaking video but you guys know as pregnancy progresses you get more and more uncomfortable and my back is literally killing me this happened during my pregnancy with Wilder my back hurt so bad to the point where I just went to the chiropractor like once a week and it didn't help at all so I really don't plan to waste my time with that this time around because taking a toddler to that kind of thing where you have to lay down and like you don't have any help with you or anything like that you get you guys know if you have a one-year-old or a toddler then you know that that can be very challenging and difficult so I'm just not even gonna waste my time because honestly it did not help at all last time I went so yeah, but that's another thing. My back is killing me. I'm so winded all the time. Blah, blah, blah. That's what pregnancy does to you. Duh. But it is very challenging and it's difficult at times. And a lot of the time I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm so over this pregnancy. But I remember saying the same thing with Wilder. I'm going to miss it so freaking much. I already know. I'm getting emotional for no reason right now. Stop. I know I'm going to miss it so much. And I just need to enjoy it all. But... The baby is kicking like normal, just kicking me all the time and just will not get out of my ribs. I cannot tell you how excited I am, you guys. Oh my God. Am I gonna make it through this video without crying? <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am to meet this baby and find out if it's a boy or a girl. Garrick and I just cannot wait. I find myself going in the new baby's nursery so often and just staring and just imagining, you know, a new baby and while they're having a brother or sister we just we can't wait anyways I need to shut up or I'm just gonna get emotional on another note I have been looking for breast pumps and searching for the right one because whenever I was breastfeeding with Wilder I got a breast pump from one of my really good friends and it was a great breast pump but I don't think I got the right um, what are they called somebody help me nipple oh things what are they called Fling, I think that's what they call it, like fling sizes. I don't think I had the right fit, is what I'm saying, for my boobs. And every time I would pump, it like hurt. Anyways, if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. If you guys have like a die hard breast pump, comment below, let me know. I would love to know what your recommendations are. Other than that, I feel like I am just about to pop. I feel huge and I don't know I'm just I'm so ready to meet this baby and I really 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 hope that I'm able to make it to at least the 39 week mark where they schedule c-sections and I hope I don't have to deliver early but like I said I will definitely keep you guys posted on that we are doing vlogmas so you guys will basically know everything that's happening in our life between now and December the 25th another weird thing is like my teeth have been kind of irritating me and this happened with Wilder as well. I remember asking the doctor and she's like, oh, that's completely normal. But it's just so crazy the things that pregnancy does to your body. And it's so incredible. Like, it really is. Like, I just, I feel this baby move inside me. And I honestly feel so bad for guys. Like, they don't get to experience this. Any of the guys that are probably watching, if there is any guys watching, are probably like, no, I'd probably rather not. But seriously, it is sad and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful that I'm able to carry another child. It's just incredible.
getting to the point where I am having to ask Garrick to like help me out of bed because there's just like aches and pains and you know if you're pregnant or have been pregnant then you know what I mean but I, I mean I can get out of bed by myself don't get me wrong but it just it's so much easier when Garrick just helps me out of bed or even like pushes me out of the bed or like helps at all. I can't believe I'm already to that point where I need, not need, but I want help out of the bed or I want help from getting up from sitting down. It's just, I feel like if it's a little early, yeah, I'm just super uncomfortable, that's my point. Anyways, I can't really think of much else that's really happened other than I'm always hungry, always thirsty, still craving ice, you guys already know that, I'm just like, shut up. Other than my face still breaking out and still not getting a pregnancy glow, I'm pretty sure that's all for my 31 and 32 week pregnancy update. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And don't forget to click that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Vlogmas is coming up. A new video or vlog every single day for the month of December. So definitely don't forget that notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.